Hello and welcome to The Vibe, an online segment produced by the Bedford County Chamber of Commerce, supporting and celebrating the businesses and communities of the Bedford County region. I'm Kelly Goodman Schaefer and here's what we're talking about today. It's President's Day, a holiday closing banks, schools, and government offices. The national holiday in Pennsylvania recognizes the birthdays of President George Washington, born on February 22nd, and Abraham Lincoln, born February 12th, both presidents with direct or indirect ties to Bedford County. In 1791, the passing of a tax on, quote, spirits distilled within the United States and for appropriating the same was met with dissatisfaction by Pennsylvania farmers who distilled grains into liquor for easier transport and sale. By 1794, the protests had become so intense, even violent, that President Washington personally led a militia to quell what is now known as the Whiskey Rebellion. His headquarters, the Espy House on Pitt Street in Bedford. The Whiskey Rebellion is considered to be the first test of the new American democracy and the only time a sitting president has led troops into a conflict. The town of Everett is believed to be named for Edward Everett, the famed orator, politician, and former Secretary of State, whose speech at a hallowed Pennsylvania battleground lasted for two hours before President Lincoln gave his two-minute Gettysburg Address. The Lincoln Highway, named for President Lincoln, was the first transcontinental road for automobiles in the United States, dedicated in 1913. It winds its way over 3,000 miles between New York City and San Francisco, including across Bedford County, bringing businesses through communities like Breezewood, Everett, Bedford, and Shellsburg. Coming up, our Senior Challenge student, Chris Klinger, poses 10 questions for community leaders to Tim Weaverling of Reed Wirtz and Roadman. That's right after this. Homewood at Springhouse Estates and Victoria House at Homewood, keeping our residents safe during the COVID-19 crisis. I was in my apartment for almost a, a month and then I was provided everything that I needed. People have been very respectful about maintaining the social distancing and wearing their masks. I wouldn't want to be anyplace else but Springhouse Estate right now. Victoria House at Homewood and Homewood at Springhouse Estates. We're not home-like, we are home. Electrical, done right. Since 1947, we have always been there for our neighbors and friends. Reliable, prompt, and always done right. Our name, our work, our promise. We guarantee it. Hello, I'm Chris Klinger, and on 10 Questions with the Bob, I'm going to be talking with Tim Weaverling of Reed, Wirtz, and Roadman. I'm a partner here with the agency, have been for the last two years and we're a full service insurance agency, meaning we have commercial lines, personal lines, and life and health. It, it was the culture. Um, I didn't really see myself as being an insurance agent when I, I started this, this uh, journey 18 years ago. Um, I was transitioning from another job. I knew I wanted to stay in the Bedford community. And when I was looking, I uh, was looking for culture. Okay. What's your favorite part about the job? The, the, my customers, my clients, and it sounds probably cliche for a sales guy to say that, but really the biggest part of it is learning about business. I'm, I work in commercial side of things, I do personal lines also, but learning how a business got started, what it took to, to grow it, and, and how it got started, that, that really interests me and I, I really uh, like that part of the job. Who's helped you along your journey to becoming a community leader? Well, as, as much as she may not like to hear this, uh, a mentor to me in leadership is Kelly Goodman Schaefer. And I say that because she, uh, when I went to leadership uh, Bedford County in 2002, um, again, 18 years ago, uh, it taught me a lot about how valuable the community is and how valuable it is to me. And I need to be a part of that. But along the way, you know, I had uh, you know, Kelly helped pull me along and, and, and when you surround yourself with success, it only makes you more successful. It's never the same. Um, you could start with a list of things you want to accomplish that day, and at the end of the day, nothing's crossed off, but it doesn't mean because you didn't do anything. It really means that it's, it's ever-changing. It, it could be from somebody helping somebody write a new piece of business for insurance, or it could be something unfortunately catastrophic happened and you have to help them, uh, help them through that time. This is, uh, this sounds a little funny, goes back to the sales side is, but the biggest surprise I have here is the day when somebody calls me and says, I need your help, or so-and-so told me to call you. 
And why I think that's important is because I do invest myself in the community. I do get out and meet people and get to know them. And that hopefully from the job that I do here and the help that I provide, that gets people to, to think of me. And it's not just me calling them and saying, hey, can I help you out? What would your advice be to someone my age looking to become a part of a business? Ask yourself a question. Do you love where you live? If you love where you live, you can do it your job from anywhere. We we are a small, we live in a small town. We're uh, uh, a business that caters to small businesses, but we work all across the country. And size does, isn't really the, the most important thing is, but you can, you can do your job from pretty much anywhere today. This business is built around niche markets. And one thing I can say I'm super proud of is I helped develop um, helped grow a segment of business and it's uh, school bus insurance and uh, we've taken that from a, a position of just working with with school bus contractors in Pennsylvania to now we're, we work with contractors all over the country and internationally into Canada so I really really like being a part of that that growth so we um, we're all volunteers uh, I think every there's about 40 people in our office I would say I think almost every employee here volunteers one way or another. Definitely active in the Chamber, uh, Bedford County Chamber of Commerce. If you look at just some of the things I do, I'm also a Borough Council member, I'm a DBI member, uh, board member, um, Bedford Heritage Trust board member, Bedford Sunrise Rotarian. So I, I think. If I can do things like that, that'll show the rest of the, the people who work here uh, and staff that we, we can all do this and we encourage that. I love Bedford County because of two things, uh, the people, um, I, I really enjoy this community, I think it's a, a very close community, and, and just the area. Well, we are a small rural community, um, we have a, 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 a beautiful resort, we have a lot of uh, nice restaurants, a nice fine uh, uh, retail, but we're within hours of anything that you could possibly want to do. But yet I still have that ability to live in a small town and feel safe and to not feel crowded, not feel uh, burdened by uh, you know an urban life. I, I love the rural life. I'm Chris Klinger. This has been 10 Questions with The Vibe and it was great talking with Tim Weaverling today. Next time on The Vibe, we'll discuss grant opportunities to help businesses train employees. The funding now open to even more industries. Look for The Vibe Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays on Facebook, YouTube, and BedfordCountyChamber.com. Ask us how you can become a sponsor of this program, and special thanks to the Chamber's Founder Circle members for your community-leading support of the Chamber mission. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.